27 down. A five-letter word for a Spanish friend. Mm, uh, do we have a first letter? Oh, uh, A. Hmm. Amigo, A-M-I-G-O. Amigo, yes. Thank you, Click. 28 down is nail. 35 across is ticklish. 36 down is kipped. And 27 across is adding. There, you have finished your crossword puzzle. Applause for a mouse! Well, that was fun. A real barrel of monkeys. Yeah. <laughs> no, that was a real barrel of monkeys. <laughs> well, look out. Boy, well, drill. Oh, oh Whoa. my Whoa. goodness. Whoa. Cubs, what is all of this? <laughs> oh, that's just everything my best friend Lenny and I will need to have the best day ever. Hey, look, look, here's the official Cliffhanger Fan Club patch. Whoa. And the official Cliffhanger Fan Club hat. And the official Cliffhanger Fan Club, Leona, if you please. Oh. Banana suit. <laughs> What is this, son? Oh. oh, that's the official Cliffhanger Fan Club branch. Hey, look, Dad, look. Huh? It's even autographed. Can't hold on much longer. <laughs> Love, Cliff. <laughs> hey, Leo, well, funny, well, huh? now how come this one, how come this one's all wrapped up? How come oh, that no, no, one's careful. What? That one's special. <gasps> it's so special oh. about it. I mean, they're all the same. In the beginning, he's hanging from the cliff. In the middle, he gets off the cliff. And at the end, he's hanging from the cliff again. <laughs> you silly. I'll tell you what's special about it. Yeah. That is adventure number six. Uh -huh. The cliffhanger book that made Lenny and me best friends. <sighs> it was in this very room. One year ago. Hold on, everyone. I believe we're going into a flashback. No. Oh, yes. I saw this book first. No way, I saw it first. Well, I want to look at this book. Well, 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 so do I. Well, then, I guess we'll just have to look at it together. Okay. <laughs> Today's adventure number six, Cliffhanger and Trixie the Tricky Pixie. Excuse me, excuse me. We find Cliffhanger where we left him last, hanging from a cliff. Can't hold on much longer. Suddenly, above him, Cliff sees Trixie the Tricky Pixie. Quickly, Cliff digs into his nifty backpack and lifts out his trusty survival manual. Using his expert decoding skills, Cliff begins to read. Ricky the Tick Picker? Here it is, Trixie the Tricky Pixie. When you see Trixie the Tricky Pixie, say the magic words and she will give you a lift off the cliff. The magic words? That would be six thick thistle sticks. Six sit thistle thicks. Nope. Uh, six sick thistle sticks. Uh-uh. 606 minutes pass. Six thick thistle sticks. Sorry, your time is up. I have got to get to a picnic in Dixie. Six thick thistle sticks. Six thick thistle sticks. Six thick thistle sticks. And that's why he's called Cliffhanger. Can't hold on, Lutch Monger. No. Wow. And to this day, Lenny has been my best friend. <sighs> Even though he's been away for a long time. <laughs> was even more boring than the regular ones. He never even got off the cliff. 
Well, no, come on. It was very early in the series. Livingston dangerously was still working out the kinks. Alert! Leonard T. Lizard has arrived! Lionel! Lenny! Lenny! Lionel! Hi! Good to see you again, Leonard! Oh, hi, Mr. and Mrs. Lion! Oh, hey, Leona! Oh, Click oh. my main mouse! You grown! Oh, hey, 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 hello, excuse me! Uh -huh. Whoa! He's like my best friend! Hey, hey, Lenny, Lenny, Lenny! What? I bet I know what you want to do first! Eh? What? Let's go put on our official cliffhanger fan club banana suits and read Adventure 6 right now. Huh? Cliffhanger hanging from a cliff. And that's why he's called Cliff. Hey, hey, Lenny. Huh? Oh, yeah. Okay, Lionel. Mm. Hmm. Nothing like a best friend. <laughs> oh, yeah. <sighs> Lenny, Lenny, say it's not true. Oh, it is. Oh, come on, Lenny, it can't be. But it is. Oh, no, no, no. Hi, Lenny. Hi, Lionel. Hi, Leona. Hey. What did I miss? What did I miss? Oh, what? Lenny here says he doesn't like Cliffhanger anymore. Oh, uh... oh, oh, great. Lenny! Uh, oh, Lenny! Oh, you're not loud. I Tickles. love you, Lenny. <laughs> oh. Six. Great, great. Hey, sing along with Mark the Reader and the Vowels as they bring you the short I, I sound in the word pig. Tickle. And now, Walter Pigeon tickles Clay Pigeon. Mm. <laughs> Ick. Uh, coochie, coochie. Uh, huh? Yeah. H hey, Clay, you're not, um, uh, uh... Laughing? Yeah. Uh, try blowing in my ear. That always tickles me. Okay. <gasps> Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> I don't know about her, but that sure tickled me. <laughs> and now, the Word Doctor with Dr. Ruth Wertheimer. Hello. Here's Dr. Ruth. I'm Dr. Ruth Wertheimer. Oh, with God. another word that's tired that. of being what it is <laughs> and wants to change. Isn't that right? Oh, yes. I've tried everything not to be sick. Achoo! What you need is to open up and let a little L inside. A little L? Yes, open up and let it in. And it will change you, I promise. Well, uh... <coughs> Hey, I'm slick. No longer sick. Oh, no siree. Hey, from now on, you can call me slick. Thanks, Dr. Ruth. <laughs> you are welcome. Ooh, that was pretty slick. Swami, smarmy, marmy, that's a swami's name. And reading what the future writes is swami, marmy's game. I will look into my crystal ball and read what the future writes for you. Come in, monkey's future. Come in, monkey's future. Over. Visit your sister, drop in for a will. Visit your sister, drop in for a will? That, that, that doesn't make any sense. I don't write the future, I just read it. Wait, what? Your future is rewriting. Your sister 
will drop in for a visit. Oh. Uh, oh! <laughs> Sometimes the future kind of sneaks up on you. <laughs> Oh, sister! Oh, so oh you oh, look yeah. great! If I knew you were coming, I'd have baked something with some banana bread, you know. Lenny, Lenny! How can you not like Cliffhanger? Eh, what happened? I found a new hero, Lionel. Just in time. Just in time for what? No, Leona, that's his name. Just in time. Oh, see, Lionel? You mm. gotta check this out. Look at this, look at this. The Adventures of Just in Time by Lulu's Back in Town. Oh, Justin is so cool, Lionel. <laughs> He's way cooler than Cliffhanger. No way. Way. Nah. Way. <laughs> Today's adventure, number 166, Just in Time and the 600-pound chicken. Just in time, he's always saying just in time, and that is why he is called Just in Time. Go away. We find Just in Time, where we left him last, resting safe and sound in a hammock. Couldn't be more comfortable. Suddenly, Justin sees a 600-pound skipping chicken. Quickly, Justin digs into his nifty survival kit and lifts out his safety manual. Using his expert decoding skills, Justin begins to read. When a 600-pound chicken skips toward you, jump on a pogo stick. Uh-oh! Oh no, is this it for just in time? No! Just in time? Be more comfortable. And that is why he is called Just in Time. <sighs> there. The end. What do you think, huh? Come on, wasn't that great? Well, uh, actually. No. What? No, I mean, he's, he's in a hammock. <laughs> Couldn't be more comfortable? Yeah, because you didn't like that? No. Oh, man. <laughs> nope, I didn't like it either. You know, I thought Cliffhanger was boring. What was Lulish back in town thinking? Mm. Lenny, this is terrible. I know. I know! I don't like Just In Time, and mm -mm. you don't like Cliffhanger. Oh, man. We don't like the same things anymore. You know what this means? We, we can't, can't be best, best friends, friends anymore! anymore. Oh, oh, man. Oh. Boys. And now it's time for... Gwen's word! Gwen's word! Excellent! Gawain here once again at Blending Fields, where two brave knights in armor will charge together at high speed and make a word. Competing today, we have Sir Sp. Sp. And Sir In. In. Blend on, dudes. Sp. In. Sp. In. Sp. In. Sp. In. Sp. Gawain's word for today, and this is Gawain saying, now we are finished. <laughs> but we'll see you next time on Gawain's Word, Gawain's Word. Pin. In. Fin. 
Ding. Ing. If you can read I and G, then you can read King and Ring, and you can read Sting and Sling, and you can read Spring. Yeah, you really start to swing. Gonna sing you a thing about Ing. If you can read I and G, then you can read Fling and Cling, and you can read Ring and String, and you can read Ping. Yeah, you really start to read Little Ing is a thing that you need. If you can read I and G, then you can read. Sit, it, bit. Testing, testing. <laughs> I, 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 I. B, 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 b. T, t. B, I, t, bit, bit. Bite, bite. Bye. And now, a word from famed Broadway actor, director, Mr. Walter Bobby. It. <laughs> oh, wonderful. Oh, oh, it is so much. It is awful. You are it. Oh, wonderful. Oh, thank you so much. And now, Albrecht, Roser, and Grandma. This is Albrecht. Hello, Albrecht. Hello! And this is Grandma. Hello, Grandma. Hello, folks. I am knitting, as you may see. And I learned how to knit from this book. You can learn a lot from books. Yes, even knitting. Knit, 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 knit. Oops. I made a mistake. I dropped a stitch. Psst. Book. Book. Oh, yes, you are right. I can find it in the book. This way, and now I have it again. That's all in the book, see? That's all in the book. Nit, 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 nit. Thank you, Grandma. Thank you, Albrecht. Okay, BB, the King of Beasts, it's over now. Take a uh, 41. Here's a little story. I rushed downstairs real fast. Easy. Rush real fast. Yeah, I woke up this morning. And I rushed downstairs real fast. Easy. Rush real fast. And the need in rush means my rushing happened in the past. Easy. Means it's in the past. Then I went to the kitchen. And I gobbled down my chow. I gobbled down my child. Easy, gobbled down his child. <laughs> and the ED in gobble means my gobbling happened then, not now. ED means it's over now. ED, two letters that let you know that whatever happened, happened some time ago. Yeah, ED at the end of a word is how you can tell, tell what, what the word is. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Take a bow.
key means it's over, and we're out of here. <laughs> okay, that was great for me. How was it for you guys, huh? Uh, hey, where did everyone go? Uh e. Six. I see. It's the old, we don't like the same things anymore, so we can't be best friends problem. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep, yep, that's a toughie. <laughs> We're familiar with that one, aren't we, Cleo? Oh, yes. Yeah. I will never understand why you find the Three Stooges so funny. Oh, come on! Well, you gotta admit, it's pretty funny when Curly goes... Roof, roof. I guess you just don't appreciate high art. Oh, but, 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 but you're still friends, right? Right? Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, indeed. How <laughs> though? How can you still be friends? I think maybe this will help you understand, Lionel. When, when I, I was five. five. By Arthur Howard. Oh, yeah, oh. I know this book. Hey, remember, Lenny? We used to love it back oh, when we yeah. were... Still friends. Oh. Yeah. Um. Do you still like it? Mm hmm. Do you? I don't know. Let's find out. When I was five... I wanted to be an astronaut. Or a cowboy. Or both. When I was five, this was my favorite kind of car. This was my favorite kind of dinosaur. <laughs> This was my favorite secret hiding place. And this was my best friend, Mark. Mark had a dog named Peggy. A brother who used bad words. Tushy! And bunk beds, my favorite kind of bed when I was five. Now I'm six. And I want to be a Major League Baseball player. Or a deep sea diver. Now that I'm six, this is my favorite kind of car. This is my favorite kind of dinosaur. This is my second best hiding place. My favorite one is a secret. And this is my best friend, Mark. Some things never change. Well, do, do you still like it? Yeah. Do you? Yeah. And I'll bet you probably both still have a lot of things you both like. Do you still like meat sickles? You bet. Do you still like making dinosaurs out of cheese wax? <laughs> Every day? <gasps> Lenny! Lionel! Oh. Oh. <laughs> they both also like really boring books. <laughs> hey, we can still be best friends, even if you don't like the world's greatest hero. Oh, that <laughs> would be just in time. <laughs> Come on, let's go get some cheese wax. Okay. Thanks, Mr. and Mrs. Lion. <laughs> oh, you're welcome, Leonard. <laughs> Lionel, what's cheese wax? What, what's... Uh, hmm? Lionel, Lionel, what's cheese wax? <laughs> Be here between the lions. There are games and stories at the Between the Lions website. PBSKids.org or America Online. Keyword PBS Kids. Hi, Mr. Roker. Hi, Leona. Mr. Roker, could, could you be my designated reader today? I'd be happy to. <gasps> wow, thank you. You ready? Yeah. All right. It was a dark and stormy night. Whoa. Not fit out for man nor beast. Yeah. 